The least sandpiper is the smallest sandpiper found in Louisiana. It feeds by picking and probing. It sometimes goes in water, but often it'll stay on, on the mud flat. It's mostly brownish above, but if you get a good close look, you'll notice that there are some dark feather centers and some bright highlights, including some fairly reddish tones. Its beak is evenly curved throughout, and there's a small dark patch a little bit behind the eye that lets you identify least from a great distance. Another good mark to look for on least is that the breast has a complete band across it made of small V-shaped marks in this plumage. And in here, in basic plumage, which is winter plumage, you can see that it's mostly a subdued grayish breast band. This is the juvenile plumage of least sandpiper. You can see it's very bright above, some reddish color and a couple of pale whitish stripes. The legs of least sandpipers are yellow-green. Among the peeps, or the smaller shorebirds of Louisiana, only the least has the yellowish-green legs. The semi-palmated sandpiper has black legs. It's called semi-palmated because it has a slight amount of webbing between its toes. You have to have a very good look to be able to see that. So how do we tell a semi-palmated sandpiper from the other peeps? It has black legs which separates it from the least sandpiper. And it has a fairly short, straight bill. If you get a good head-on look, you'll see that it has some uh, sort of a blob tip. That blob tip is diagnostic for semi-palmated sandpiper. Semi-palms are basically grayish above, and you can see this bird that's molting into breeding plumage has some old, plain gray winter plumage feathers mixed with some dark, centered breeding plumage feathers. The three smaller peeps, the least sandpiper, the semi-palmated sandpiper, and the western sandpiper, all have wing tips that reach right about to the tail tip. This separates the three smaller peeps from the two larger peeps, the bared sandpiper and the white rump sandpiper. On this preening semi-palmated sandpiper, you'll notice that it has a whitish rump with a darker line running down the center of it. All of the peeps except the white rump sandpiper have that dark line. This is a juvenile semi-palmated sandpiper. It has the same structure as the adult, but you'll notice that the plumage is different. It has almost a scaly look to its back with some nice soft pastel tones more or less grayish, no bright red on it. This bird on the other hand has a nice bright red feather on the back. This is a western sandpiper going from winter to breeding plumage. This bird has a whole back full of those bright red breeding feathers and also a nice reddish patch on the face. There are also a lot of dark streaks beneath, little chevron shaped dark marks making flank streakings in a breast band. Here's a western in winter plumage. Basically silvery gray above and whitish beneath. Westerns have long bills with a distinct droop to them. You can usually pick out a western from a long way by the shape of its bill. This bird is a juvenile western. Note the red stripes on its mantle. The basic pattern of a juvenile western is like that of a young semi-palm with a scaly back, but the westerns have those two reddish stripes. This long, thin-looking bird is a bared sandpiper. 
Bairds and white rump sandpipers have wings that are longer than their tails and that gives them an attenuated profile. The Bairds is pretty much brownish above, a uh, scaly brownish and it has a distinct brownish breast band. Bairds will sometimes feed in situations like this, walking around in shallow water. A lot of times though you find bairds in totally different situations, barren beaches like this beach with very sparse vegetation, or even in really uh, grazed down cow pastures. In these close-up looks at bairds, you can get an idea of that brown breast band. You can also see just how long and straight their bill is. This is the other long, thin peep, the white rump sandpiper, and it differs from the bairds in having a white rump. Bairds has the white rump with the dark line down the center, like the smaller peeps, whereas white rumps have a plain, solid white rump. White rumps have breast bands made of very distinct dark streaks, almost like mascara streaks. If you get a good close look at a white rump sandpiper, you'll also notice that it has a paler base to the bill. Least semi-palmated and western sandpipers are the three smaller peeps. They can be told apart by the color of their legs, the length of their bills, and by their plumage. Baird Sandpiper and White Rump Sandpiper are the larger, longer winged peeps. They can be told apart by their profile and their plumage. Those are the peeps of Louisiana. <laughs>